Hello everyone and welcome to Jump Around Tech where we specialize in HVAC, we do everything DIY and today we have a service call for a walk-in wine room. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jump Around Tech. Today we have a service call for a walk-in wine room. We are currently inside the room. We got Christian over here messing with the door. Chris, let's show them what's going on. This door just it can't it can't close the door. Yeah. This thing is just done. It doesn't do anything. And we're not gonna be able to close this door for this room to cool properly. So we're just gonna get rid of that at the moment. We got the unit running and at this moment we want to upgrade this thermostat. So we got this old Honeywell thermostat. It's honestly in bad shape. I mean look at this. Like you're not even, you don't even know what temperature you're setting this thing at anymore. So that thing is done. And what I was thinking of is, you know what? Let's go with a digital thermostat. I've been messing around with them lately. The wiring is a bit different. This one uses two wires. This one you need some more, but I'm thinking right now, this is gonna be a nice upgrade. The power to the condensing unit is currently off. And now we got the power off for here. It is nice and quiet. All right, so we got two wires here, a red and black. I'm assuming this is 120 volts. Just gotta double check. But it should be, it says right there, 115 volts, 115 horsepower, two motors. Yeah, 115 volts. The one is single phase and 60 should be for Hertz. All right, we need to open up this cover. All right, that's coming off. this thing to close this thing is junk oh, there's some screws here I might t take out this lock and then it's gonna pull out take those off all right here's the sensing bolt to this thermostat let's get that out the way and we got a couple screws here Alright, so here's the panel off. Here's the switch. It's gonna be this set. It's gonna be two wires coming in. This third one is not being used. So we got a black and white. This is 120 volts. So black is your hotline and white is your neutral. And that goes here. And it looks like this is only two wires being connected. This is gonna be only for the fans. This control right here has two wires this one you're gonna make four connections and a possible jumper i did make a different video on it but that one is actually gonna be different it's gonna be different every time based on your application like the other one we needed to run power to a solenoid valve but this doesn't work off that it looks like it just these two wires just energize the compressor contactor or something like that and so okay let's start by removing this control let's start by removing that where is my drill okay we're just covering that door let's start by removing this control and figuring things out This was spun on, huh? Okay, there's a little locking nut, and of course it's loose. Loosen that. This thermostat's about to be free. We just gotta get rid of those two connections. Got my Vito Pro Pack here. We don't need this anymore. We don't need this anymore. And now, you know what? We don't need any of this anymore. Either. We're gonna attach another piece. Sayonara, my friend. You did great while you were in use, but out with the old and with the new. <laughs> All right, clean that up a little bit. And also we can take, take off this. And we could use this actually for the sensor in the back. So let's keep that on the side. 
Alright guys, so I have the control here. I'm gonna take a picture so you guys can better see, but right now your incoming power goes here. We have this is common, this is says 120, this says 240, so this can be used for dual voltage, either 240 or 120. You're using 120. So we're gonna run line the black wire to 120 and then the white wire neutral to common. Now we have 120 at the control to light the display, you can read temperature and everything. And then we have our thermostat wires. Let's see, we have, this is normally closed, this is normally open, and this is common. I'm gonna take a picture so you guys can see a clear image of this. We use normally open contacts for this kind of thermostat, this kind of situation. So we're gonna put the two wires, one on common, one on normally open, and it, I don't believe it should matter in this case which one goes where but that's what we're gonna use a lot of times they say to run a jumper from the 120 to here but I believe the 120 is coming from the condensing unit we have to double check but looks like we're gonna run the 120 here and then put the two thermostat wires on normally open and, and common let's get this set up it's right, so a configuration this hole we're probably just gonna have to tape it with aluminum tape so it matches a little bit, get rid of it, and we'll try to hide it with a thermostat. We have two options here. We can either go through here, which which was already open, or we actually have a knockout right here. I think it's gonna be better if we don't see any wires or any BX hanging out. Something I'm gonna pop this hole, and mount it right here, and see how that's gonna look. And I will be trying to cover this hole with thermostat but I will cover it with tape let me see how I'm gonna do this I'm gonna drill a hole into here unfortunately it does take the model and serial number we'll write that down somewhere else but either way no big deal and everything disconnected here I'm gonna redo this whole thing cover this with aluminum tape can't even tell it was there all right let's figure out the placement for this thermostat Thinking the higher up will be a little better so then we can kind of hide this wire going up I think that will look actually pretty good so I'm thinking and if we go like this we could actually keep oh no we're not gonna get the model on serial I'm thinking right there all right I got the step bit this thing is awesome start in the middle and go ahead Awesome. That looks great. Beautiful. That thing ripped through there. I got this thing off Amazon, guys. I'm going to put a link in my description for this. This thing is great, man. And it's smooth. Wow. All right, guys. Hole is ready. And let's mount this thing. All right, guys. We got this mounted. That looks good. This is solid wire, 12 gauge. I'm going to add stranded wire, 12 gauge, and I'm gonna color code it. As you guys mentioned on my last video, you think it's better for, for newbies and stuff, but listen, when it comes to newbies, that's cool and all, but if you don't know what you're doing, stay home. But I will color code it <laughs> just to make things a little bit easier. Oh, my light needs a battery change. Let's go ahead and add some extension on these wires, and wire this thing up. All right, guys, so I got it wired. These two wires right here, the white is common for neutral, and this black wire is 120, your hotline. And I got that connected here, right? The white and black is your 120. Also, it gets connected white and black to feed the fan motors, and then the other white and black feeds the control. Then the two wires these two that were originally connected to the thermostat I'm using on the contact side this is normally open and closed excuse me normally open and common and that's done there's a feature on here if you want to lock the keypad there's like a little switch here this side is on lock this side is to lock like a little tab you see this right there it's gonna move that 
All right, guys, this is looking really good. I just have to needle up the wire. We put better wire nuts, two red for main power and the two yellow for the thermostat connections. And that should do it. Let's put this back and try to neatly get this going. When we turn the power on, we will have to program this thermostat. All right, guys, this looks pretty clean. The sensor wire, I actually tucked it in behind this wood. And I mounted this right there so we can get that return air this coil is definitely dirty could definitely use a clean i'm going to recommend that and i reused the old clip but like this it's like it's pretty neat you could take off the cover no problem and it looks pretty damn good anyways we're going to turn the power on for here see if we have a display and let's program this thing and started display 74 degrees all right so here's the programming i'm gonna take a picture so you guys can read this well we're gonna hold the set button right there at the set button this arrow up this arrow down so step one enunciator frc so Fahrenheit or Celsius scale. We use Fahrenheit. So set. We're gonna hold set right there, Fahrenheit. We're gonna use Fahrenheit. Okay, I think we set. And the set point temperature. I see they keep this box at 65 degrees, so I got it at 65. Differential. Differential. Let's say three degrees differential. I think should be okay. So I know they keep the other wine cooler for some reason at 65 degrees. This one, currently with this, looks like it's set between 50 and 60. So maybe 55 degrees. So if anything, let's put this set. Fahrenheit is good. Set. Let's bring that down. guys here's the condensing unit for this one i got my wireless gauges on there for the temperature probes it's the field piece app i just turned it on we have a 69 pound back pressure and a 207 pound head pressure all right 91 degree liquid line 43 degree suction line sight glass looks clear can already looks like the suction line is actually sweating already that was pretty quick so we're pretty much just gonna let the unit run and see what happens this is the place where we just repipe this this honestly looks really good we got two new water supply supply in return for a new system that's about to be installed but man this is looking phenomenal no leaks and that's a beautiful thing so we're just gonna keep an eye on this i'm gonna go grab some food and see what happens let's let the temperature drop all right guys some time has passed we have a 55.7 suction pressure 205 head pressure our suction line is 40 degrees our liquid line is 92 degrees vapor saturation at 29.8 liquid saturation at 102 and our superheats at 10.3 and our subcoolings at 10.2 for a 120 excuse me that's a for r22 system 
and it says our target superheating subcooling is 10. This thing is actually looking pretty good. That's awesome. That is a beautiful thing. The room definitely feels colder already and the fans actually sound a lot better. We're at currently at 63 degrees. That's great. We are at 63 degrees. Let's just let this thing run. This door finally closes. We left it like this so we can pull it out. And the other side we just taped it white. So it could actually close. But like this we could just push it open. And that's it. I'm just gonna let this ride out and leave it running. But the temperatures and pressure, everything looks pretty good. And this actually came out really nice. We're gonna wrap this one up here. And if anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. And I'll catch you all next time.